Alrighty, and we're back. Sig Corpse here. Another episode of Skyrim. Um, with, uh, Arya and, uh, Orisa. And, let's see, mod changes. Let's go over that first. I've added a bunch of new mods. Um, we've got wearable lanterns, which is kind of cool. Um, so it kind of eliminates the need for a torch. Um, I've also added realistic needs, um, which basically means realistic needs and diseases, which basically means I need to eat, drink, and sleep. So, um, that's going to become part of this this let's play. Um, trying to kind of go along the lines of more of a role playing role playing aspect. I want to kind of take this in that direction. Um, so we got realistic needs. I also change oh um, harvest overhaul uh, I've added um, which means I'll be getting instead of when I pick a bunch of, of uh, you know blue mountain flowers instead of just getting one I'm gonna get a random number could be four it could be eight you know, it's, it's a little bit more realistic and I swapped out immersive horses for convenient horses um, mainly for aesthetic purposes, so I could get horse armor and a few other things, and the followers. Um, horses work differently. Instead of a convenient... Um, immersive horses left an extra horse around the stables for each follower, and if something were to happen to that horse, as we saw with Caden, he loses the horse, then he gets off the horse, the horse goes away. Uh, now each follower gets their own horse, so that makes things a little nicer. Um, I also added uh, brighter torches with bigger radiuses. Uh, again, just um, it makes torches a little bit worth more using. Um, I do, 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 do. oh yes, um, I added a change for the Dawnbreaker sword, um, mainly to prevent. When Dawnbreaker does that explosion thing, it doesn't fling everything everywhere. Um, okay, what else we got? Oh, yes. And another aesthetic one. As you can see, the cloaks. Um, I added Winter is Coming, which adds heavy duty cloaks. Things a little bit more suited for um, what we've got going on here. So I'm facing that direction, and we need to go back this way. Um, they're pretty cool, uh, and when we get into some light, I will show you. Although it is nighttime, and I'm not quite sure if I want to travel during the night. So let's go, Arissa. Now, did she... Now she's going to run. I've been having problems with her getting her horse. I think it's because we started this way. Um, I had to actually had to... Um, Dismiss and rehire her. The East Empire Company has their docking station underneath Solitude. Oh, what a heist that would be. Ah, yes, I've done that actually. So we're gonna get a room here at the inn. The Dragon Bridge is strategically important, which means there will always be a military presence here. Soldiers invent conflict when none exists, and the people that live here suffer for it. I hope one day they can live out their lives in peace. Wow, you're chatty today. Oh, and I got her all set up, too. Give her some decent armor, and she's got a cloak and stuff like that. Uh, the cloaks are just for aesthetic reasons. Took me forever. Where's my horse? Horse! Horse! Yeah. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay. Exit that. I was messing with the horse controls. Let's see. I need horse whistle. So. Come on. You're stuck. 
Yeah, I gotta remember to park the horse. Let me get some distance away and maybe that'll help. Oh boy. Come on, Arissa. We've got We're close to solitude, seat of Imperial power in Skyrim. Yes. Expect to see Legionnaire patrols. If we let them pass, there shouldn't be any problems. Okay. There you are. Now let's see if she gets up on her horse. Like she's supposed to. And she's not. Outstanding. Okay. The East Empire Company has their docking station underneath. Solid yes, you told me this already. What a heist that would be. Yes, yes. Let's look at our map right here right quick, because we need to go. Kind of like this, because I don't think there's a way to get through here. Well, maybe there is. Maybe. Let's see. Can we get along? Uh, can we get along? No, not really. No, okay. We're certainly not going that way. Okay, so let's go this way. We gotta go see a man, or we gotta go see somebody about recruiting them for... Alright, so let's follow this around. For, uh, Isran. Oh, yeah, we discovered them already. First time through. Yeah, we'll never get through those mountains. Oh. Oh, a noble lady. Hmm. think if we can get up there I'm not quite sure if that's passable well, let's take the road always have exciting things when you follow the road Ork go over here to this bridge you keeping up Arissa Oh, what the heck? Oh! Okay. Uh, horse? Yeah. Is that all you've got? Huh. Oh! Yeah. Ow! So, better run while you can. Your best. Let's take care of these guys. Bye bye, baby. You okay, Rissa? Come on, get up, girl. Come on. Ooh, level up. Arissa, sweetheart. Behind you. Okay, I know that can't be all of them.
Yeah, me. That was simple enough. We are badass. Surprise. Certainly seen better days. <laughs> Barbarian healer's circlet. Yeah, it didn't help you too much. Ooh, key to robber's cove. <laughs> Head rolling on the floor and everything. Ooh, black arrow. Oh, apparently I've already read it. Um, ooh, wow. We're going to take that. That will come in handy. Ridding the world of evil, one dead bandit at a time. Ooh, outstanding. Crossbow. Take the bolts, though. Ooh. Never said. Oh, hi. Come on. Where the hell did she go? Wow, she went down quick. She went down quick. I guess the other bodies are out there. Alright, so... Marissa, where'd you go? Marissa! Oh, there you are. There's... Well, obviously there's something here. Hmm. Brother and the herd we ate each other started again today, and it came nearly to blows. The whole camp is on edge. I've ordered an extra ration to me, but unless the fighting stops, we'll tear ourselves apart. Rumor has it herd is gathering followers for mutiny. He's probably going to. Brother's not stupid. He's probably doing the same. I'd kill them both, but the camp split straight down the middle. If I tried that, there'd be a knife in my back within a week. I can't take this anymore. I've begun skimming a little gold from the take, bringing it down here where I can. If I can scrape enough together, I'll make a run for it and head down to Dragon Bridge. Uh, Bro's getting suspicious. Caught him poking around in the cave this afternoon. I don't think he found my stash, but it's not safe here. Took a boat out tonight. Stow it in the island. Huh. What we got here? 
Ooh, door control rod. Right. So he took... Oh, salmon, hey. Now, if I remember correctly, there's usually a chest floating around here somewhere. There it is. Oh, nice. Oop. I can't imagine this is fun doing it underwater. That's it? <laughs> That's it. Let's wait for me to get back up there. It's looking like no. Crap. I'll meet you around the side. Marissa. I'll go out this way. And this is one of those instances where I'm glad I didn't bother to... Uh oh. Yeah, don't think I didn't see you, slaughterfish. So the other chest is supposed to be right here. According to the journal. He didn't take it very far, did he? Um. It's actually not bad. My poor horse is all freaked out. Alright. Let's go get Arissa. Hey, horse. collect these last few bodies. Well, those bandits didn't do too very well. Uh, Nordic Scrimshaw Shortbow. Hmm. Uh, or carols, okay. Oh, nice. That's a decent. There's Arissa. Arissa, dear. Where'd she go? There's a. Oh, that's that freaking slaughterfish. Where are you? Oh, she must be in the water. Alright, let's go. As long as she's not stuck in the cave. Have I mentioned how much I hate swamps? Because I hate swamps. I uh, yeah. lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, you know, it was the only, I couldn't find a way to get up. Okay. That smell. Yeah, I know, right? So we're gonna go this way. So let me put some things on the horse. Let's see what. Oh, yeah, let's put that on the horse. And. Eat that. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Is that better? That's better. Let's go. Here, we're gonna go that way. Okay. Stick by the road. Now, why you don't summon a horse, Arissa? I don't know. You summoned one the other day. Well, skeevers. <laughs> I 
I think Arissa just took care of the skeever. Coming, girl. Come on. Where you at? Come on, let's go. We got to go. You have a horse. Summon the damn thing. Oh well. Sworn. Where's the other one? Where are they? <sighs> wow. Another one somewhere. Aha. There you are. Sure taught them a lesson. Yes, we did. I have no interest in going in here right now. But since they were going to accost us as we went by, they are now no longer an issue. Who what? Found us where? Come on, horse. I swear. I don't see nothing. We would, I don't I heard you. I don't see you. I want you sell swords out of my mind. Watch your tongue, native. We'll leave when we're sure there's no force worn here. Oh, and when would that be, I wonder? When I sell my land to the Silverbloods? The Silverbloods have made you a very generous offer for this pile of dirt. I suggest you take it. What's going on? I'm Ina Thatcher's If the right Forsworn aren't attacking my town, the, the Nords are trying to force me off it. You in trouble? Robbery is what it is. The Silverbloods are trying to muscle in on my land. Forsworn attack the mines, and suddenly all these cell swords show up to help. They won't let anyone work until I sell it off. Hmm, what if I can convince them to leave? You can try, but I'd keep your sword arm ready if things get ugly. Who are the Silverbloods? A family of thieves, running their corrupt empire from Markarth. The Silverblood family own half the Reach, and they won't stop until they own all of it. Hmm. All right, then. That's just not right. Coming, Arissa. Yeah, stay there, horse. We're in control of this mine. No sudden moves. Where's oh there he is. We're in control of this mine. No sudden Aren't we moves. a dandy? I the mine is closed. Get lost. Why have you shut it down? 
Forsworn attacked a while back. Jarl had no men to spare, so the Silverbloods generously offered to send us to clean things up. We just want that old native to hand over his land in payment for our services. Then we'll leave, and everyone can get back to work. Really? Yeah, good luck with that. Right. You guys need to go. Helping out Ina Thatch, huh? Give me a reason not to plunge a dagger in your chest. I'll give you several. The whole town wants you out. Let's see them make us. Uh, you're using your power to keep these poor people who just want to make a living. I thought today was going to be boring. Never should come here. Uh, a lesson. Mm hmm It's not bad. Oh, that's light armor, wow. Ooh, some apples. Hi. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Take the food. With all the caves and mountains in this region, there must be a action to be made prospecting. Find a pickaxe and let's make a name for ourselves. Wow. Sorry, girl. Not that interested in mining. I think that's all a minute. find this guy and let him know that he's free to work. Hey! If the f I'm one of the few native sons of the Reach that owns land. Oh. Doesn't make me very popular. Well? That won't be the last we hear from the Silverbloods. But at least we can get back to work. Thank you. You've done a good thing for me and my workers. Here. This is for you. Oh. Well, thank you. Mm-hmm. Hey, follow me. Come on. Come on, follow me. Let's go. Okay. Are we going to have to do a billy goat thing? Oh, that's right, we got to level up. I keep forgetting about that. Let's do this. Okie dokie. So... Yeah, health for right now. Let's see, what do we got? Nothing there, nothing there. Um. Uh, let's take a Bladesman. Let's take the Bladesman's perk. Since we're using Dawnbreaker now. And we'll call the horse when we need it. Well, what's going on here? There's a cave. There may be treasure hidden inside. Yeah? There's also a dragon temple around here somewhere. Something over there, too. Let's... Let's go find this girl. We've been delayed enough getting getting here. Let's go find her.
Ooh, aren't we fancy? Are you finished, Oglig? Oh, Fantastic. not you again! Jesus Christ! You're over. Grateful you didn't simply attack me. Far away from Helgen. There she is. Oh. No, that's hers. <clears throat> Hello. Hi, how are you? Just one gyro. One, and I can get back to work. Where are they? Who are you? You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I'd swear I left it right here. I saw a backpack back there. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Oh, they do that. Well, just look around, will you? Okay. Uh, Isran asked me to find you. Isran? Wants me? Yeah. No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. Yeah, I've heard that before. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. He's brusque and rough anyway, around the I'm edges. I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Well, the vampires are threatening all of Skyrim. We need your help. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Probably. Well, what are they up to? Um, they have an Elder Scroll. I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. True. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. I saw a satchel just down by the river. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro. I think you left place. it by the river, girl. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? No. No. No, I don't have any. Well, then I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. Isran and I still need your help. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. <sighs> mm -hmm. Hey, horse. Your gyros. In your satchel you left by the river. Here. What? Here. Just one gyro. I understand that. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Here. Believe Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Outstanding. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Um, we're meeting at Fort Dongard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? <laughs> it's apparently not much of a to secret. See how much progress he's made. <laughs> not much. <laughs> I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. <laughs> Until next time. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. Alrighty. Well, that's the time we've got today. Hope you guys enjoyed a little, a little bit over the map. And I, I kind of like that, you know going through and stopping to do little things. So we've got some areas. I wouldn't mind checking out this place. And there's a dragon up in here somewhere I think we should probably take out. Um, next up, I'm thinking we need to go talk to Delphine. Um, oh, and I need to speak to Greymane in, in Whiterun. Um, under legend, diplomatic community. So we need to 
Or yeah, return to Ezra. Yeah, we'll get around to doing that. So we're gonna go talk to Delphine. Uh, and meet her in Riverwood. On the way there, we'll do Missing in Action, and we'll give her the news her sons are okay. And so, until next time, from both of us, to all of you, this is Sid Corp signing out. <laughs> Bye now.